In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2S, barium chloride plus sodium sulfide. First thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see I have two chlorine atoms here and just one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the NaCl. So the chlorines are balanced, two sodiums, have a sulfur here, sulfur here, barium, barium. We're done. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chloride's very soluble. Put a little AQ, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sulfides in general are insoluble, but sodium, potassium, those group one sulfides, they are soluble. So that's a bit of an exception. We're gonna put AQ. So for barium sulfide, barium sulfide is slightly soluble. Some of it will dissolve, not very much. So when this reaction takes place, most of it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we're gonna put an S because it's slightly soluble. We're gonna say it's a solid since that's what most of it will end up being there. And then chlorides and sodium compounds, very soluble, put a little AQ after that. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Barium's in group two, so that'll be two plus. So we'll have the barium ion and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. Two of these chloride ions. Chlorine has a negative ionic charge when it bonds, so two chloride ions. Plus sodium, which is in group one, has a one plus the sulfide ion, that's two minus. So we have two sodium ions, and then the one sulfide ion. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up. So we're just going to say BAS. And then for the sodium, we have these charges here, two sodium ions again, and two chloride ions. And I noticed back here, I have this two here. I didn't put that in front of the chloride. I do have two chloride ions here as well. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions, which are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I look at the reactants here and the products, I see two chloride ions right here in the reactants and in the products. Those are gone. Two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2S. I'll clean it up. Write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium chloride plus sodium sulfide. You'll note charge is balanced. We have a two plus and a two minus. That adds up to a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero, and the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2S. Thanks for watching.